where we are coming from, mm. and a good light into where we're heading towards as a business. Yes. Mm. So what would you say this award means to us as a station and to our viewers as well who love GH1 TV? We believe that we, we are here representing our viewers. We're very excited about it. Mm. I, I, was, I was very proud of my people at the venue and how happy they were seeing Alice going up and down, receiving the awards. It's refreshing. It's promising. It, it's making us feel like, yes, mm. as young as we are, we are also able to do something for the public to enjoy. And we need to commend the public for what they've done for us. And this is more to the public, our viewers, mm. and also to the young people. Mm. They've done a lot of good work from our newsroom to our production room to the supervisors, the people who walk out in the sun every day, sleeping in the wrong places just to get the right stories for us. I think they do a very difficult job that we don't see behind the screen. So some of these things goes to show that, yes, they're doing a very wonderful job. Mm. And let me come to you, Alice. Um, I know you're feeling excited about this. Well-deserved award. Can you tell us about the stories that won you this award, especially on the SDGs reporting and even general news reporting? Okay. So, um, as we are all aware, last year we did a lot of projects. Um, we did the menstrual hygiene project, mm -hmm. which was um, led by myself and the entire um, newsroom team. We also did another on sanitation, water and sanitation. Mm -hmm. And then we had um, a forum, the toilets forum. Yes. Both um, projects had national um, fora and all were targeted at um, achieving the sustainable development goals. So I did series of reports on um, menstrual hygiene and then on water and sanitation. I did stories on education. All that, all of them are geared towards the SDGs. I actually um, filed, I think, four reports. Mm -hmm. So, and I got two out of the four. I think it's 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 good. It's so, yeah. those were some of the stories. And then, um, for the news reports of the year, uh, the story on the blind woman who was raped, and she got imp mm -hmm. impreg impregnated. Mm -hmm. And later on, she got infected with yeah. HIV yeah. together with her newborn baby. We, like we always do, we do impactful journalism here at GH1 TV. We don't just report the news. We don't just bring out the information for people to see that, okay, this is the troubles or these are the troubles people are going through. But we ensure that there are some concrete results. We got some help from the social welfare department for the woman and her children, her newborn child, other organizations and individuals came in. She's been relocated and she's being catered for mm. now. Kind Ketsi, GH1 and our viewers mm. who also helped in supporting her. Even with the menstrual hygiene, we got, even months after the project, people still came in to donate sanitary pads for us to sent to some schools and some other um, needy girls in, in the northern region. So we, we deserve it. We deserve more than these ones that we got. <laughs> so how, how challenging is it to, to do the work that you do, to, to identify these stories, to bring them to the fore, for them to get the attention that, that it deserves? Um, it's quite challenging, but with um, a little bit of experience, it can be a bit easier. Mm. So what we, if I, I got you right, how we get hints of some of these stories, mm -hmm. links to some of mm -hmm. these stories, sometimes it's from our viewers because they trust us to get them results. They contact us if there are some issues in some communities or someone is having a challenge somewhere, they contact us. Some are also from other stakeholders that we work with. Some are lawyers. Lawyer Susu, for instance, yeah. gets in touch with us quite often, giving us story leads and all of that. And at times, we also go out there to, to fish for the stories ourselves. Some weekends, we just 
set out to communities. Just looking for a story. Yes. Mm. And because of the... We are very young, but very intelligent team in the newsroom. Yeah. When we move to a certain community, we are able to spot the news when, when, when we, we, we see them or we meet situations that are newsworthy. It's a bit challenging sometimes because some of these areas that I go to are really hard to reach. You have to sometimes cross water, walk in water. Mm -hmm. I fear water a lot, but when I am working, <laughs> I don't know, that fear goes away. But and you, you have to do it. it. Yes, sometimes you have to sit in canoes mm -hmm. without life jackets. You have to travel miles and miles away from home. You have to sleep. But, but our, ma our management ensures that we always have better accommodation yeah. wherever we, 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 we travel to. But sometimes in these rural areas, you don't have the five-star hotels there, the four-star or three-star. You just need a place to lay your You head. just have to, And they'll yeah. follow the story. Sometimes sure you have to, to sleep floor. at um, hotels with bed bags and all of that, with my cameraman, <laughs> Adwala, Kudo and Co. Yeah. Samwa and all of them, Sekafa and Co. So sometimes it's challenging, but mm -hmm. it, is, it is for, for Ghana mm -hmm. and for all of us. So when the results are out there and then it culminates into awards like this what then is the feeling like it's very fulfilling to me it's not even just about the award it's about the impact we make in society the lives we are able to touch with mm. the stories we tell i don't have money to share to people i don't have i don't think we as gh1 tv can even um line up people um, in need and say they should come for monies or we can but what we can also do for them is to tell their stories mm -hmm. for the stakeholders or other people to also assist or help them in ways that they can so it is very fulfilling to see that at least with just a story I am able to change somebody's lives there are many people many families many people that have become family to me through stories that I, I, I did for them, stories I worked on that involved them. Mm -hmm. And let me also use this opportunity to thank them because not everyone um, is able to open their doors for you, grant you the opportunity to tell their stories. Yeah. Even when you are doing Vox Pop, you go out there, you want to interview people on the street. Someone will see the moment they see the microphone, oh, no, 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 I won't talk on camera. But these people... Open that let us come into mm -hmm. their rooms, no matter how filthy their environment is, how you know they live. Yeah. They want you to tell their story to inspire people or to also help in changing their lives. So I think we are doing a good job. Mm. And coming back to you, Astus, looking at what the team has been able to achieve, and you know, I want you to like highlight some of the real challenges that we we go through to be able to, you know, to get the story out there for it to be, to be told as it should be. I think that um, as she elaborated, the newsroom, the news team and the production team, they are doing a very wonderful job. Yeah. It is, it is difficult to deviate from the mainstream politics stories. Everybody is following yeah. a kind of story that makes a lot of people want to listen to to be involved in other stories that will touch the community, affect their lives. And most of these include touching or reaching remote areas. And these remote areas will come with extra cost. I mean, it's easier to sit in a car and cover a press conference and put it on TV mm -hmm. than to release a team out there. Apart from just financial cost, the risks involved and the people who are, who are going. So we, we, we understand what we are here for we believe that our interest is to touch the community so these challenges we envisage them they make the work more exciting so we, we we don't see them as challenges per se of course we also understand that it's, it's good for business our existence is to reach out to a lot of people as possible and if everybody is following the political talk and is not impacted on the society it will not work well in a, in a, to, with our conscience mm. and Finally, before we wrap all of this up, I just want you to say something to the team that has been able to, to achieve this. I think that they deserve a lot of 
uh, applauds and congratulations. They deserve more than uh, they are getting in, in terms of praises. There are a lot of people behind the scenes yeah. who are doing a wonderful job day and night. Yeah. I know that when we sit here, when you guys sit here, you represent those of us who do not come on TV to say all these things. And we appreciate them a lot. Mm. We appreciate the work they are putting in and we will also ensure that they are able to do this job and enjoy what they are doing. Very well. And congratulations once again. Congratulations. Big Thank one. Thank you. Alizaiti. And keep up the good work that you're doing. Uh, Mr. Astus Ahiable, congratulations to you too as the manager. It's and keep on job. with the good work that you're doing so that we can achieve more of this. Uh, this is where... We're going to wrap it all up this morning, and it's been great coming your way, and we're excited. Make sure that you keep on watching GH1 Television, your best experience. Uh, I've been doing this today with Sewa Ami here. My name is Lantam Papanko. We'll see you again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.